Good morning, guys. Happy Memorial Day. Hope you guys are all having a great day today. Um, I'm about to head out to the beach, but first, I want to show you guys that new grill that I was talking about. I haven't tested it yet. As far as unboxing it, the pretty much the whole thing pretty much comes together. The only thing I had to assemble was the legs and put the wheels on the on the legs and then attach the legs to the actual grill. The rest of this stuff was all pre-assembled in the box. The whole thing probably took 10 minutes to put together. You know, a lot of you guys have Wranglers just like I do, and I wanted to show you guys the width of the grill, the perfect width for the back of the Wrangler. Um, I'm gonna throw my cooler in the top right-hand corner. I got plenty of room for that also. Guys I'm, guys, I'm telling you right now, if you have a Wrangler, don't do the stupid mistake that I made. Take the doors off, take the roof off, take the whole thing off. It's gonna make you fall in love with your Jeep all over again. I mean, don't get me wrong, I've always loved my Jeep, but now I'm just crazy about it. I feel like I just got a new vehicle. Okay guys, so when I put, installed all the hooks, for the doors, to hang the doors, I didn't even think, what am I gonna do with the two little tops that are at the front of the Jeep when I take them off? Well, apparently these hooks work perfect for that also. As you could probably imagine, the next step is to take that hard top off. Plus, I was actually even thinking, when I'm at the beach, I like to try and fly my drone sometimes, so it would be, it's, it's gonna make my life so much easier while I'm driving on the sand, I could actually have a clear view of the sky and keep an eye on the drone. And that's exactly what I'm gonna try and do today. Have you ever Fail. Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. All right guys, James C. Rides has officially become your tour guide for the Hamptons in Long Island, New York. Crystal clear. Crystal clear, guys. I hope the camera's picking this up. You would think I'm on vacation somewhere. Hit that subscribe button, click the bell icon so you can sign up for the notifications. Perfect. We got the Jeep right up against the water. We're gonna set up the barbecue right over here. In fact, let me open up the back door in the Jeep so you could see. I mean, I packed in the barbecue. I still had room for the cooler and everything. Got a couple of stuff over here. So we got the grill, we got the cooler, and just a couple of extra stuff or whatever in the bags. So we'll set up the barbecue right over here and just kind of chill out for the day. Nice little private spot. Full review of the barbecue coming up in a few minutes. By the way, new Hellcat mods have arrived, so be on the lookout for this video coming this week. I'll be doing an unboxing. Rubicon brought us down here, no problems. Did not struggle one bit. All right guys, hopefully this doesn't make me look bad. I did test it before I left the house, but let's see. Gonna go ahead and just turn these on. Should turn on pretty easily. Hit that little starter button. Yep, I can probably hear the flames. You can't see them, but I can definitely hear them. And I definitely feel the heat. All right, I'm just gonna leave this closed. Right now it says, well right now it's at the minimum, it's at 100. I'm gonna leave it closed, let it heat up, and then we'll throw on the steaks. All right guys, temperature's going up pretty quick. It's only been about three minutes, not even. Going over 200 degrees already. If you guys notice, the water is up to the edge of the tire on the Rubicon. Before I put it in park, I know it's probably overkill, but I did leave it in four-wheel drive low with front and rear locker turned on just in case. I want to make sure I don't get stuck over here. Sp especially over here with the sand. When I'm walking in the water over here, the, I mean, you just sink into the sand. It's almost like quicksand. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and take a look at the grill. 
to see what temperature it's up to right now because it's already lunchtime. I'm getting kind of hungry and I'm gonna literally we're filming this today on Memorial Day this video has to be ready and live by 6 15 p.m. Eastern time hopefully I make the deadline okay we are already at 400 degrees it's going up real fast I'm actually glad I got the updated one you could get the previous model which looks identical and it's like $30 cheaper but I figured for an extra 30 bucks I'd rather get the one that I believe it's supposed to just I believe it just has like an extra burner or something like that and when you're barbecuing you want the most heat possible these little propane tanks are really cheap too they're like around five or six bucks at walmart i know guys you think the cheap will get stuck no there's no way rubicon my rubicon still has not gotten stuck yet but i cannot wait i'm looking forward to this i have a new i got in contact with a company who makes a product for my winch so that i can use it while i'm at the beach so what we're gonna do to test out the product we're gonna intentionally get my jeep stuck i'm gonna put it in two-wheel drive and i'm just gonna slam on the gas and dig myself into a big hole and we're gonna see if i can recover myself if i cannot recover myself it's just gonna be big time embarrassing because a lot of people at the beach know my jeep and you'll probably see it all over social media james c rides got stuck i would not be surprised it already kind of happened when the first time when my first jeep went up in flames all over social media you know, James C. Ride's Jeep was already in flames and I got hit up in the DMs and on Facebook Messenger, I mean, by a lot of people. But anyway, this Jeep has been performing extremely well, very happy with this build. Like I said, guys, this Jeep is never going anywhere. Keeping this Jeep. All right, we are at 500 degrees right now. It's time to get the stakes ready to go. Okay, I'm giving you guys a real world review on this Coleman grill. The link it will be in the description below. I ordered mine from Amazon. Remember, there's going to be two models. I, I mentioned it before. You got the updated model, which runs around, I think it was like 199 or 200. You can click, click the link below. There's always discounts on Amazon. But then the previous model, which I believe does not have the same amount of burners, is around $30 cheaper. I would recommend you go for the latest and greatest. Right here we have, you hear the sizzling. We got uh, shell steak, Angus shell steak. We also have skirt steak over here on the sides. And uh, we're just gonna let this cook up. We got some potatoes and stuff like that. We're gonna be adding on the grill in a few seconds. Temperature goes down obviously every time you open up the lid. So I wanna keep it nice and closed. Let it get real hot. All right, we're already going a little over 400 degrees. We'll flip over the steaks in a couple. But this little spot that I found worked out perfectly guys. The Rubicon using the Rubicon to hang the garbage over here if you guys find a nice spot like where I'm at don't be throwing your garbage on the ground take all the garbage with you guys got the new decals on the Jeep I know it looks similar to the last ones I've changed the decals on this Jeep so many times but this one is my absolute favorite before I had the same one just slightly smaller so now I just went with the slightly bigger one same thing on both sides let me know what you guys think of the decal on the side of the Jeep. Right, let's go check on the temperature again. All right, looks like it's hanging around 400. All right, guys, I just flipped over a couple of them. See how it has very nice color right now. These are a little thicker, so they're gonna take a little longer. In fact, I'm gonna throw this on this side. Put this on this side right here so I could throw down some other stuff on the right side. I don't know if you remember where the wheels were on the barbecue, but tide is coming in pretty fast. Not sure. I wasn't expecting it to come in that fast, but the water is coming up to the barbecue. But more importantly, the water is already past the first tire and already making it to the second tire. Again, that was the reason why I did leave the Rubicon in four wheel drive low with the front and rear lockers turned on so that when I do put this thing in reverse, in fact, you know what? When I put it in reverse, I'll, put, I'll do it on video. This thing will just crawl out, obviously no issue. So to be honest with you guys, I wanna give this grill two thumbs up. Very, very pleased with it. Check out what's on the menu. These are the Angus shell steaks. We got some skirt steak right here, some corn, and these roasted garlic potatoes are out of this world. Anyway guys, I'm gonna turn off the camera because it's about time to 
start serving up the food and I'll see you guys when I'm done eating. Okay guys, final review because I kind of lost track of time. So the grill's all dirty, we finished cooking, the steaks came out perfect. I would say they came out probably just as good as when I grill steaks on my Weber grill at home. But we have a small problem. Since I did lose track of time, I showed you guys earlier the water was up to the first tire. Also, if you notice the slant, it almost looks like the Jeep is kind of slanted forward. I have a feeling that that tire over there is probably starting to sink into the sand a little bit. I'm gonna, I'm, we're cleaning up, we're trying to put everything back in the Jeep and hopefully, hopefully we can pull this Jeep back out in time. But as far as the grill's concerned, look, I'm not being paid to say this, but the grill was absolutely perfect. I give it two thumbs up. I honestly couldn't ask for anything more perfect for a portable grill that can easily fit in the back of my Wrangler. If it's your first time on the channel, hit that subscribe button, click the bell icon so you can sign up for notifications, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.